Hi everyone, and welcome to the SwiftCase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes, founder of SwiftCase, the professional productivity platform. And today I've got with me... I'm Alex Petro, development manager of SwiftCase. I'm Phil Abbey, developer of SwiftCase. Okay, great. So today we're going to talk about something that's been, well, it's been, well, it's a bit of a tragedy that's happened, but unfortunately, circumstances have led to a particular incident involving a guy who was trying to build his own space rocket. Mm, kind of, yeah. I don't know if Phil wants to fill us in on the story. Right, so it's kind of, it's a Darwin Award. So if I don't even know the Darwin Awards, it's a contender for the Darwin Awards because mm-hmm. the Darwin Awards is when people eliminate themselves from the gene pool using uh, creative techniques. Yeah. So usually idiot, idiot, idiotic. Yeah. And now he, this man, we call, he's called Mike Hughes, mm-hmm. and he calls himself Mike Hughes. Because he was a, um, a self-styled daredevil mm. who built his own rockets, steam-powered rockets, mm. so that he could fly into Earth's atmosphere, not into space. Yeah, we're talking about, you know, only thousands, mm. less than tens of thousands of feet, probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he could launch himself into our atmosphere and uh, check whether the world, the Earth, was flat or not. Mm. Because he fundamentally didn't believe and couldn't believe any expert uh, on the matter and felt that even using another person's flying device would be open to uh, bad faith sort of manipulation. Yeah. So it's convincing that the earth was round. Yeah. Um, and like concave windows or yeah, like yeah, concave exactly, windows. Exactly, or right. So like, it's, it, that's, that is a perfect example of like how far the rationalization uh, the rational powers of a conspiracy theorist goes to um, weasel away out of having to, uh, I don't know, prove it. Yeah, exactly. Well, 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 yeah, well, like, so, it, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, what happened was he, he launched a rocket successfully. I think it was the second time, so I don't know what happened the first time, why he needs to do it again. Um, I think he maybe didn't get high enough, but it deployed the parachute whilst it launched. You know, the parachute is supposed to be the thing that brings it back down to Earth. So, a lot of people were watching, including a documentary team from the Science Channel. Mm. And uh, it launched and then it crashed and died, obviously, flattened. Mm. And the uh, the thing that I found interesting was that the Science Channel is supposed to be science and they're following what is ostensibly anti-science. Mm. Uh, well, in a way, I suppose he's pursuing the scientific method in a very, very... Yeah, the experiment Yeah, he's doing an experiment was... Yeah. Yeah. Is science in the broadest sense yeah. of what science well, is? Well, he's ignoring like the complete realm of science. Yeah, in terms of published, peer reviewed. Yeah, he's kind of doing something that's a bit yeah. pointless because we yeah. already know yeah, the exactly. actual result. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the whole point of it, yeah. yeah. So, but he was kind of um, egged on by this documentary support, you see. So, I'm wondering whether, like, how much responsibility does people that. Uh, support and sort of bolster him have to his death or or is he just totally responsible for this enterprise Uh, he should you know no one else can be blamed yeah um, for it what do you think I mean how did this guy get the equipment required to build well he needed funding you see so yeah so who flat earth has funded him so I think Pops there's a school of thought that thinks that he really would just have a bit of a death wish yeah, and um, and he hitched his apple cart to the flat earthers so he could get funding from flat earthers. So that would give him the professional mm. uh, branding, and then he could, he could crowdsource the money. Okay, yeah. But so they all believe in it, though, don't they? They believe in it, yeah. yeah. But the science channel, no, I assume, yeah. doesn't believe in it. Yeah, <laughs> unless they're not really the science channel. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But they're just for yes. purposes only. Well, yeah, that leads on. We were discussing the other day, mm. right? Which is that if you have commercially driven TV channels mm. at every juncture, eventually they are only sustained by what they see as sellable. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah so, uh, so you know, if, if science, if science done properly was really appealing, then everyone would buy science journals. But yeah. don't only universities buy them. Yeah, really. Yeah. So. Um, let's put some kind of spin on it, even to get the people who are interested exactly. in like yeah. new scientists, scientific yeah, American, and then really Focus really Magazine exciting. now, like kind of, yeah. well, Focus Magazine's a bit more popular science, but certainly new scientist is still a bit of journalism over the top of the 
paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. But uh, it's still, yeah. The, so it's not real science, probably. You're right. And he wasn't probably even a real fan. No, but you've got to make it. You've got to make it interesting when you're on TV. So like Mythbusters or something like that. They, you could say they do real science, but they pick science experiments that will be interesting. Yeah, exactly. They don't yeah. fake it. It's no, CGI. True. It's no. proper science. Yeah. But they, they only pick stuff that explodes. They're not going to pick something <laughs> where they just sit there. Yeah. You know, like yeah. we've both worked in science yeah. in in labs where you just basically measure the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> again and again and again like, all day. And it's just like, like yeah. you know, it's just a color change or something, a spectrum. Or not even that. Not even that. It'd be like a number. Yeah. Or something. Uh, you wouldn't even get a graph out of it. Or yeah. Anything. It wouldn't be good TV, would it? No. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, I did computational chemistry. You run, oh a, you, you you run a you run a calculation and wait for a number of hours, and then it gives you a result. It wouldn't be televised. Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. But so yeah. what we do at the end of it is we make three D models to show like animations of things going, yeah. you know, going yeah. together. Coloured. Yeah. yeah, artificially yeah. coloured, and that everyone thinks like you know viruses or whatever are actually brightly coloured exactly. objects with yeah. loads of like balls and sticks and ribbons and whatever else, but that's just an artistic representation yeah. because actually it'd probably be a load of numbers on it. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. my favourite friend, yeah. yeah. I do think it was a little bit tough. I mean, Mythbusters, fair enough, like, like as you said, they pick the things that explode the things yeah. that, like, wow people. But when science channels are deliberately going here, basically mm. pointing their fingers and laughing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting, isn't it? But he probably would have done it without them. But you wouldn't have had a platform, would he? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, yeah. So, and again, we've talked about it before, it's like the outrage thing. So, were they, it wasn't really an attempt to kind of uncover the truth in any way, no. but just to um, uh, bait people who consider themselves scientifically literate mm. in, a, in a strange way. So, like those adverts that kind of bait you with, um, some kind of uh, statement that you they, they know was going to get you back. Yeah, this off. wasn't yeah. for flat earthers, was well. No, no, exactly. This is yeah, for yeah. people who think that flat earthers are stupid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To watch it and go, how stupid to this guy. Yeah, exactly. And they expected it to just fail and him to like be on the camera going, oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. Like, well, actually, need to try something else or whatever yeah. excuse he needs to get out at the end. Not, yeah. there's actually going to be. But in this instance, guy. they must have known it was a very high like, oh, he's going to die. They must have. Because can't because then that's like yeah. negligence. But, like, so like, yeah. like, but then it was the case that the parachute just didn't open. Right? No, it did open. To no, so it it open yeah, yeah, so when you see the video, they didn't have a backup. Yeah, it, 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 it like it launches and then the parachute launches mid mid launch. It almost just got like, and it just rips it off and then yeah, it literally parabola yeah. and people screaming. Of okay. course. Yeah. So um, I mean, it's not gruesome or anything, but it, it is. Um, it is the same. I mean, the guy still died. It's yeah, like exactly. a, you know, yeah. a tragedy, isn't it? Yeah. Like whatever the guy's thoughts are, you know, you yeah. still get a guy with a tumor family and so on. Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah. yeah. You know, the whole situation might seem like it's ridiculous, but mm. like, you know, they've ultimately a guy has yeah. lost his life. Yeah. That maybe has been egged on. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I, with people like that as well, I wonder whether he, there was any way he would have been talked down from it anyway. So is it really? But did they have someone who checked it? You yeah, know? Think, yeah, because accidents happen. You know, there's insane. Like I suppose a similar situation would be there's been a number of land speed records, haven't there? Yeah, exactly. And even like yeah. Top Gear, isn't that insane? Or yeah, yeah. Richard Hammond's had like a couple yeah. of um, near near yeah. fatalities just driving cars. But didn't he? He did. He flipped and then he went off the road and then like yeah, there's that. Yeah. He's done it a couple of yeah. times. He's done it. You know, he's, he's one of them. He's really like. Yeah, close yeah. to yeah, yeah and like that's not because they're trying to test some concept that we know mm. is wrong mm. they just want to go really fast and see so actually which, one, which one's more misguided but you know, no, but what <laughs> I mean is like is, is he wrong because TV knew he was wrong to be doing it or is it wrong yeah. to just push people to do dangerous things to film it mm, I suppose is it does it make a difference that the end result was he wanted to go up and look yeah. at the curvature of the earth or not or yeah. the fact that they're letting someone go up in a homemade, well, yeah, effectively yeah. a homemade rocket yeah, yeah. that's yeah. taking someone a very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. You know, does the guy who jumped out the Red Bull guy jump from the edge of space? That's not. That's, that's totally pointless, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's one of those things. He's done it, and Red Bull have filmed it because they want to be associated with 
yeah. you know, wild. Yeah, that's know, the ultimate, isn't it? You know, in fact, experiences and so on. There was a guy uh, who that had gone wrong. Yeah, well, yeah, if that had gone wrong, they would have still been absolved, I think, mm-hmm. but because of the high scientific rigor behind it, because to yeah. get to that point, you would think. Yeah, but that's yeah. the point I mean is, yeah. the fact that he's gone up in a rocket, yeah. the flat earth part's almost irrelevant. Yeah. I know that's the reason why he was doing yeah. it, and that oh, well, stupid. Yeah. But someone going up in a rocket mm. that should be have certain safety standards and whatever else, that bit is kind of the separate to the fact that he, the reason why he was doing it. Mm. If it had been a perfect, if he'd have just they'd have just done a film by a guy who's making a rocket, yeah, would we have been? Would people have been no, treating no, no, it no. in the same way no. as the reason of why he was doing the rocket? Because yeah, yeah. that's, that's you know, people would probably be bored by a guy who's making a rocket. Yeah. yeah. If it was just doing it, but for the would we be saying that's a Darwin Award yeah. contender if it wasn't for the reason of yeah. why he was doing it? Yeah. That's I think, it. I think but, that's perhaps a question for yeah. you to leave a comment yeah. below. I just wanted before we go, I want to say one thing. There's Go a on. guy you must see on the internet. There's a guy who made a parachute coat. Yeah. Now, and we're talking about 1930s, me. Yeah. And he and this was filmed, and he made a trench coat. Hmm. Which had an inbuilt parachute thing because he was like, you can carry parachute everywhere in any situation. And he filmed himself, film crew, and people below, jumping off the Eiffel Tower to demonstrate that it worked. Mm. And of course, he jumped off, it didn't work at all, and he just plunged straight to his death. And that's basically the same, isn't it? Mm. Effectively, it's the same principle as uh, this, and it's similar to the Felix Baumgarten, I think. Mm. And it's been going on for you know, hundreds of years. Yeah. It? So it's not new. No. And we've, I, you know, even true. from the very advent of TV, we've been filming people doing this sort doing of thing. silly things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. just let me think about it. Well, drop your comments down below about what you think about this. Uh, don't forget to like us and hit the bell button so you're notified. If you want to um, launch your web browser and fly over to our website, it's uh, swiftcase.co.uk um, and our social media and laws in the usual places uh, at Swiftcase, uh, Swiftcase UK. Okay, great. Thanks for listening to Swiftcase Productivity Podcast, and we'll see you again next time.